On Wednesday, Terraform Labs, TFL, disclosed its strategy for ceasing operations and offering its goods and services in the event that talks with third parties break down. Following the SEC settlement, the troubled business and CEO Chris Amani acknowledged obtaining an order from the bankruptcy court to cease operations. On September 25th, Terraform Labs disclosed developments on talks with third parties to assume management of certain of its products and services in an ex-post. CEO Chris Amani of Terra has confirmed that the company's goods and services would cease to exist on October 30th, 2024. TFL suggests that talks with outside parties are probably not going well. This might be the result of the U.S. SEC's investigation and lack of enthusiasm for the goods. Alliance Hub, Station Wallet, Warp Protocol, and Enterprise Protocol are the four businesses that the company is selling. In the meanwhile, Finder Block Explorer, Foundation, IBC Relayers, Mantlement, FCD, and API services are among the services that are being considered for acquisition. Potential parties still face difficulties meeting the infrastructure needs for the services, even with the industry benefits of the services. The community has decided to burn tokens in response to this LUNC news. On this date, the shuttle bridge interface will be shut down in order to burn cryptocurrency assets like WLUNC in the contracts. Furthermore, TFL is no longer able to enable new chain upgrades after its most recent update was done. The chain's upkeep and functioning will be overseen by community-driven initiatives. The community of Terra Luna Classic awaiting the Binance burn mechanism. Cryptocurrency trading given that the exchange supplied additional tokens to the burn address, Binance most likely updated its LUNC burn mechanism. The price of LUNC has increased by 10% over the past week and by roughly 2% over the last 24 hours, trading at $0.000088. $0.000086 is the 24-hour high, and $0.00009 is the 24-hour low. Additionally, there has been a 30% spike in trading volume over the last day suggesting that traders are becoming more interested. According to CoinGlass data, 1,000 LUNC open interest on Binance increased by almost 5% during the previous day. This suggests that traders of derivatives are actively purchasing cryptocurrency. In the meantime, the price of Luna increased by 1% over the previous day and is currently trading at 39 cents. In addition, the trade volume increased by 41% over the previous day as Terra's bankruptcy strategy moved forward. A week later, the price has risen more than 8% as traders' optimism has continued. Well, before diving into the full details of this crypto, did you know you can make 10 to 20k a month online? This is where Nay Business YouTube channel comes in. My goal for this channel is to help you make your first 10k off the internet automatically for absolutely free. So right now, please head to the description box below, click on the channel link, subscribe and wait for my next videos. Without further ado, let's get into the details of this project. Terra is an open source blockchain payment platform for an algorithmic stablecoin which are cryptocurrency that automatically track the price of currencies or other assets. The Terra blockchain enables users to instantly spend, save, trade, or exchange Terra stablecoins. The Terra protocol creates stablecoins which are designed to consistently track the price of a fiat currency, a government-backed currency such as the US dollar or euro. It consists of two cryptocurrency tokens which include Terra and Luna. Terra are stable coins that track the price of fiat currencies and are named after them. For instance, the base Terra stablecoin tracks the price of the International Monetary Fund's special drawing rights and is named Terra SDR or SDT. Other Terra stablecoin denominations include Terra USD UST, which tracks the US dollar, and Terra KRW KRT, which tracks the South Korean won. Users mint new Terra by burning Luna. Luna on the other side, is used for governance and mining. Luna is the Terra protocol staking token, which absorbs the price volatility of Terra stablecoins. Users stake Luna to Terra blockchain miners, called validators, who record and verify transactions on the blockchain and receive rewards from transaction fees as compensation. As Terra's usage grows, Luna's worth increases as well. Primary features of Terra Asterisk Terra aims to boost efficiency for payment service providers and value for customers in the rapidly developing Asian e-commerce sector. 
Asterisk Terra uses Cosmos blockchain technology to challenge existing retail payment apps. Asterisk Terra, being a complete end-to-end -end payment solution, avoids the present fragmented payment infrastructure. Asterisk using Terra's technology may save payment service providers hundreds of millions of dollars annually. Asterisk the Terra crypto network employs its native Luna currency as a utility and governance token to manage the collateralizing processes that back and safeguard the price stability of Terra's stablecoins. Pros and cons of Terra. Pros. Asterisk the Terra ecosystem also includes a blockchain agnostic development platform that lets software developers construct their own protocols and dApps on top of Terra. Asterisk the Terra protocol supports several currency linked stablecoins. Asterisk Terra Luna tokens help stabilize its stablecoin. It encourages trade between Luna and stablecoins to boost or decrease supply. Asterisk Terra introduced Anchor, a savings and lending system. This protocol lets users deposit and earn interest on stablecoins. Cons. Asterisk Terra is still lagging behind major cryptocurrency initiatives like Ethereum. Asterisk most Terra-related cryptocurrency transactions originate in Korea where its creators reside. It is too early to tell if Terra-related currencies will catch on elsewhere. Asterisk Terra is less decentralized than Ethereum. This may turn off some blockchain purists. In detail, Terra is a payment system that resides and is built upon a blockchain. It was developed by South Korea-based Terraform Labs, which was founded in 2018 by Du Quan and Daniel Shin. Du Quan was formerly employed by Microsoft and Apple and founded a startup, Anify, which offered decentralized wireless mesh networking solutions. Shin is the founder and CEO of Asian payment technology company Chai, a Terra partner, and was co-founder of Korean e-commerce firm Tmon, also known as Ticket Monster. In its quest to become a leading e-commerce stablecoin payment and decentralized finance, DeFi service provider, Terra has a growing ecosystem in the crypto space with 114 projects across DeFi. Web 3.0, and non-fungible tokens, NFTs. Some of these projects include Asterisk Anchor Protocol, a fixed yield platform with borrowing yields and frictionless access. Asterisk Chai, a payments app with over 2 million users in South Korea. Asterisk Loterra, a decentralized lottery platform built on the Terra blockchain. Asterisk Mirror Protocol, allows for the creation of fungible assets or synthetics that track real-world asset prices. Asterisk Talus Protocol, a platform where artists can sell their creations and offer services. Asterisk Vega Protocol, a platform for minting and trading derivatives. Because the primary value of stablecoins is derived from the stability of the price peg, theoretically bypassing the volatility typical of cryptocurrencies, the Terra Protocol attempts to maintain the price of the Terra stablecoin by ensuring that the supply and demand for it are always balanced by employing arbitrage. Luna is the variable counterweight to the Terra stablecoin and absorbs its volatility. To understand how Terra works, envision the entire Terra economy to consist of a Terra pool and a Luna pool, which are used to adjust the price via incentives for network participants. Despite the crash that happened last year, the developers are still working tirelessly underneath the project to ensure everything stays good. A few weeks ago, a news article arrived on CoinGape saying the Terra Luna Classic developers submitted a key proposal to introduce and boost liquid staking derivatives. According to the proposal, developers seek to change the allowed interchain account host messages to bring Quicksilver support, an interchain liquid staking protocol for the Cosmos ecosystem. This allows the Quicksilver chain to transparently create and control accounts on the Terra Luna Classic chain and execute allowed messages. It will also allow interchain staking on any validators as well as maximize liquidity and capital efficiency by improving network security and decentralization. Moreover, it removes the unbonding period wait requirement before a position holder is able to sell his staked assets. Seeing this, you should know that the Terra Luna developers are still working on the betterment of the project. This is to tell you that no hope is lost with Terra Luna yet. I believe everything will be fine soon. I also believe you can be rich off Terra Luna's investment. But it all depends on how much you are investing in Terra Luna Classic, how much you expect from the market, and how long you are willing to hold for. LUNC is the native token of Terra Luna. This will be the end of the video. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and invest wisely. Thanks.